What happened to my hair? It also has funky rainbows in it. They are the same length, it's just this one's a bit more sticky up here at the moment. Honestly, I'm not quite sure if I like it at this length, but it's growing on me. I'm very much one of those people that really doesn't like wasting things, so I certainly try my best to recycle things, repurpose them, buy secondhand things. I'm not perfect, but I do try. As my health's improving, my body's changing quite a lot, so before getting any real new clothing, um, I'm really trying to revamp and alter and maybe even donate some of my older clothing, which I may make a video about at some point. I've had some craft ideas that I've wanted to do with cardboard for a while, but wanted to make sure that I was reusing that cardboard so it would come from boxes or something like that. So I've been saving up cardboard and a lot of it's actually been recycled already, which was an epic bonus. One of the first video games I ever played at a friend's house was something called Duck Hunt on Nintendo, which was released in 1984, which is even before I was born. So it's pretty basic in the scheme of things, very pixelated. You dig, I'm sure. Put down the shovel. There was also this trend in the 1950s that emerged where people were adorning their walls with decorations involving flying ducks. I tried to look into what started that trend, but the first result on Google literally was Ontology of Aerodynamics in Mallard Ducks in the Journal of Experimental Biology. Not what I was looking for, but I will save that for later. Anywho, my idea was to make my own flying duck decorations modelled on the duck hunt ducks. I found an appropriately pixelated image of a duck hunt duck and used that as a template on a 1cm by 1cm grid that I just ruled up using a ruler and pencil. It ended up slightly larger than the page I ruled up, but I just used the offcuts when I cut the template out. Um, I also used a piece of paper stuck to another piece of paper giving it a little bit more thickness so it was easier to trace around the template onto the cardboard. I traced around the template and used it to cut out the appropriate shapes on my duckies. I then transferred the design just by painting them. So I guess you could say I have all my ducks in a row now. <laughs> At least I quack myself up. My other undertaking was slightly more epic. New dramatic music. Another video game I definitely enjoyed was Zelda Majora's Mask, in which I was able to collect all the masks and complete the game. By the way, this song is royalty free and is awesome to sing as part of a choir. Not that I'm a choir nerd or anything. So I decided to make all the masks from Zelda Majora's Mask in miniature and out of layered cardboard. Basically, I cut out all the cardboard shapes that I needed using a Stanley knife, so be careful and seek parental permission if that's appropriate before attempting this at home. So any finer details or any tidying around the edges I need to do, I did with nail scissors. I painted each layer, waited for them to dry, and then glued them together. And they just kept growing in number. So I hope you enjoyed seeing all of that. Please consider subbing if you haven't already, and feel free to leave a comment or a like if you liked this video. Peace out and stay awesome.